Let's take a look at multiplicative inverses. What is the multiplicative inverse of 6 over 7? Well, keep in mind that word inverse means the opposite, right? In math, the inverse is a number that undoes the other number. So if we multiplied by 6 over 7, well, what would undo that? Or what would be the opposite of that? So when you have a fraction like 6 over 7, the multiplicative inverse is also known as the reciprocal. Okay, the reciprocal is what you get when you flip the fraction. Okay, so when I say flip it, the bottom becomes the top and the top becomes the bottom. So the reciprocal of 6 over 7 would be 7 over 6. Okay, and just to show you, the reason that these would be multiplicative inverses is if I multiplied by that inverse of 7 over 6, everything is going to cancel out and it's going to give me 1. Right? I can cancel a factor of 6 with a factor of, of 6, right? One on the top, one on the bottom. And I can fact, cancel a factor of 7 on the top with a factor of 7 on the bottom to just get 1. Okay? Now, even without canceling them like that, if you look at what happens when I multiply by the inverse, the multiplicative inverse, or the reciprocal of this number, notice I wind up with the same problem on the top and the bottom. So even if you didn't cancel it first, even if you said, okay, let me work this problem out the whole way, if you multiply and you say, what is 6 times 7, you're going to get 42. Now you would do the exact same thing on the bottom. 7 times 6 is also 42. So remember, anything divided by itself is always going to give you 1, right? 42 divided by 42 is just 1. And this is what makes it the multiplicative inverse. When you multiply a number by its multiplicative inverse, you always just get 1. So when you flip that fraction, it's going to be the same problem on the top and the bottom, or the numerator and denominator when you multiply, which makes it always give you 1. So the multiplicative inverse of 6 over 7 would be 7 over 6. Okay, so the multiplicative, what is the multiplicative inverse of 10 over 7? Well, we know the multiplicative inverse is the reciprocal, or what we get when we flip that fraction. So if we flip this, the reciprocal of 10 over 7 would be 7 over 10. What is the multiplicative inverse of 8 over 7? Okay, well again, you would flip this to get the reciprocal, and that would be 7 over 8. What is the multiplicative inverse of 9 over 5? Well, it would be 5 over 9. And again, just to show you one more time why, why are these two things inverses? Well, if you took 9 over 5, it's the multiplicative inverse of 5 over 9. If you multiply them out, it's always going to just give you 1, right? 9 times 5 is 45. On the bottom, 5 times 9 is also 45. So that reduces to just 1. So when you multiply by the inverse, you always get back to 1. What is the multiplicative inverse of 3 over 6? Well, we know we would flip that fraction for the reciprocal, so it would be 6 over 3. What is the multiplicative inverse of 7 over 10? Well, we know we would have to flip it and get the reciprocal, so 10 over 7. What is the multiplicative inverse of 8 over 1? Well, that would be 1 over 8. What is the multiplicative inverse of 10 over 6? Remember, you would flip it for the reciprocal, so 6 over 10. What is the multiplicative inverse of 2 over 9? Flip that fraction for the reciprocal, 9 over 2. What is the multiplicative inverse of 5 over 8? Well, you would flip the fraction or take the reciprocal. That would be 8 over 5.